In this video, you will learn how to do some advanced researching in the education area. First, get to the Bucks Library. From the Bucks homepage, click the link to the library. Next, click Databases. Click the link to the first database in the list, Academic Search Premier. If you're off campus, you will need to log in with your Bucks username and password. Next to Academic Search Premier, click Choose Databases. This tool allows you to search multiple collections at one time. Leave Academic Search Premier selected. Also select Education Full Text and ERIC. Select Master File. And if your topic somehow also relates to a psychological disorder or developmental disorder, select Psychology and Behavioral Sciences Collection. If your topic is more related to a practice or technique in the field of education, then leave just these selected. Alright, now that we've made our selection, click OK. Enter your topic. I recommend keeping it pretty simple for your first search. Once you have your keywords in your search box, Click search and you'll get your results list. Now in your results list you want to take a look and take a look at the titles. Your keywords will be in bold. On the left hand side you can use these limit tools to narrow your results to something more specific to match your research interest. First thing you want to consider is the date range. If you'd like more recent resources, change the lower end of the date range and hit enter. Your list will automatically update. If you'd like results relating just to education in the United States, scroll down, click Geography, click United States. I have on the left hand side to help me find articles related to my topic. A couple different ways you can do this. You can use your subject box and this will demonstrate to you the words that are used to organize your results. So I'm definitely interested in preschool education. And I'm interested in building communication skills. So now I've got 34 results. Here's an interesting one on the use of technology to build communication skills. So since I'm interested in this topic, I'm going to click on the title. When you click on the title of the article, you'll get access to a lot more information about that resource. This information includes all of the words that are used to describe the resource, as well as an abstract. An abstract is the summary of the full article. I recommend that you read the abstract for any article that you're interested in before you download the full article. It's a great time saver. Once you find an article that's of interest to you, you can save it, print it, push it to Google Drive using all of the tools on the right menu.
That's an overview of some advanced techniques using our library databases for research in the education area. If you have questions, remember to visit the library or contact the librarians through our bucks.edu library website.